Well, let's stop sex trafficking. That's the message advocates and members of the Duluth Trafficking Awareness Task Force brought forward in a virtual meeting tonight. CBS 3's John Carnelli attended the meeting virtually. John, what are the members of this group calling for? Tony, those in attendance tonight say more education needs to be available when it comes to sex trafficking, especially in schools. They say more children and teens need to be educated on what grooming is. Grooming is when a predator befriends any person with the intention of exchanging gifts for sexual activity or content. In a Minnesota state survey given out to 9th and 11th grade students in 2019, 5,000 students said they traded sex for something of value. Most of those students were a part of the indigenous community. Those on the panel say indigenous people are targets as they can be passed off as multiple races by perpetrators. Many MMIW victims don't come forward as they feel the system further victimizes what has been done to them. It's re-victimizing to get on the stand and then also getting on the stand puts them in danger from, you know, their trafficker or their traffickers, you know, family or friends or accomplices. There's so many things that go into play when it comes to trafficking survivors not feeling safe in the justice system. This is one of the reasons why the group says they are pushing to create a MMIW office to provide ongoing advocacy and education on the MMIW epidemic and sex trafficking. And if you or someone you know is a victim of any sex crime, we have a link on our website, CBS3Duluth.com, on different resources to use to come forward. John Cardinelli in the newsroom for us tonight. Thanks, John.